from Umbrago 12 and above, Umbrago now ships with a content delivery API. The content delivery API delivers a headless capabilities directly into your Umbrago installation. The content delivery API allows you to retrieve your content items as a JSON format and present it in different channels using your preferred tech stack. My name is Jonathan, and in this video, I'll show you how you can get started using the Content Delivery API. Great, let's have a look together. Awesome. So now I'm in my project here. So there's two scenarios before you get started with the Content Delivery API. Either you have a project that have been upgraded from a lower version, let's say Umbrago 11, or it's a completely new Umbrago 12 project. In the first case, we first need to register the content delivery API dependencies in our project before we can use it, meaning that we will need to opt in explicitly for using the content delivery API. So that's what we're going to do in my case. So to do this, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to our startup CS file here, and we need to go down to the configure service here. Here we need to register the API dependencies under add website and above add composer. So what we do is we write add, and with big letters, add delivery API, as we see here. Awesome. So now we re registered the content delivery API dependencies. Let's go ahead and save it. And now we also need to enable it through our app settings JSON file. If it's a completely new project that you're working on, you don't need to do this part in the startup CS file. That is only if you upgrade from a previous version of Umbrago. Let's go to the app setting JSON file over here. And under CMS, we need to add the setting. So let's go down here and search for delivery API. One down here and let's write enabled. Set it to true and save it. So now we have enabled the content delivery API. We can now go ahead and start our project up. Awesome, my project have started up. Before we can actually use the API, we need to go to the Umbrago back office here go to settings section and in the examine management dashboard, you need to go to the delivery API context index. And in here, we need to rebuild it before we can use the delivery, content delivery API. So let's go ahead and do so. Great. It's healthy and we can see the document count and the field count as well. Great. So far, so good. So if we just take a quick look at the documentation down here, we can see that we can find some endpoints. I'll also make sure to add this documentation in the description of this video down below as well. Here we have three options. We can get a content item by the ID, we can get a content item by the route, and we can get content items from a query. We can also get more information of the parameters down below. In this case, let's just try and get a content item by ID. This will return a single item. So to do this, I'm going to use Postman to uh, show, show the query from the endpoints. Let's go back to our website here. And let's just take this path up here. I'm going to go to Postman, add it in here. And let's just quickly go back to the page here and copy, copy the path. So let's uh, add it in here. And as you can see, we also need an ID. This ID where they need, we can find in our content section of the back office here, if we go to a content node. So let's just say we want the welcome node here. Go to info tab over here, and we need this ID down here, as we can see in the documentation as well. That the path ID is a string, GUID of the content item. So we take this and replace the ID here. If we run the query, 
we can see the output down below here in a JSON format. The name of the node is welcome. We can see when it was created, the updated date, the route, the ID of it, the content type, the properties, and so on. Awesome. So in this way, we can see the content of our content node here in Postman. Awesome. If you want to see everything on your site, we can just remove item here and we can click send as well. And this will show you the total of items that you have in your project as well. So if you scroll down here, we can see we have the welcome note. We have about us. We have the hosting and we have a lot of different things in here. Awesome. You've now seen how you can enable the content delivery API on your Umbrago 12 projects. I've also shown you how you can use Postman to explore the endpoints on, of the content delivery API. That's all I have for you in this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more awesome videos about Umbrago CMS as well about the content delivery API in the future. That's all I have for you in this video. My name is Jonathan, and I'll see you in the next one. Jonathan out.